All right, good evening, everybody. We are so excited to have you here. Welcome to the Regional Admission Counselors of California Virtual College Fair. My name is James. I will be facilitating this session. Um, just a few reminders before we kick it off with our presentations. You can access the Q&A function at the bottom of your screen in order to ask our presenters questions. Um, one thing I would suggest is make sure that you direct those questions specifically to the school or schools that you're wanting to hear from. That way you're not getting six different answers if you're only wanting to hear from one or two schools. Your camera and microphone are turned off, so we cannot see or hear you. So the way that you can communicate with us is via the Q&A feature. We can use the chat function in order to send out links, reminders, things like that, um, but you can communicate with us through the Q&A function. Uh, one more thing, this is the last set of sessions happening this evening, so there won't be any additional sessions. However, we are recording this session as well as all of our other sessions that have taken place this evening, and we will have those available to you within about a week at strivescan.com slash RAC, R-A-C-C, and I will have that link again at the end of the presentation. So looking at our schedule for this evening, you are in session uh, C4, and so you have some wonderful institutions you're going to hear from. And first up, we are going to hear from American University. Thanks, James. I appreciate that. Hello, everyone. Thanks for joining us today. My name is Jeremiah Rakowski. I'm a Regional Assistant Director for American University, which is located in Washington, D.C. And the regional part of my job is that I actually live in Southern California, which is the territory I also recruit, as well as Nevada. Um, I'm based in Laverne, California. Um, but we're here to learn about my university, so I'll kind of start with where we're located. As I said, we're on the East Coast in Washington, D.C., which is one of the nation's um, coolest cities in my opinion, and where we are at are, is in the city, um, and we have a traditional campus in the city, but we're in the upper northwest in a private residential neighborhood about four miles from the White House. So we truly feel like we offer students kind of the best of both worlds, a traditional college campus environment that that's not too large, including university size, campus size, student body wise, it's all we're all kind of right in that happy spot. Um, and then we have a campus that's located in one of the safest and nicest sections of the city, but you're still only four miles from the White House and everything that goes on. There's great public transportation in the city uh, and we provide students with an unlimited use Metro card pass. So students have unlimited use of public transportation in the DC Metro region. And so they're really getting out and about and getting off campus to do internships, to have personal fun, whatever it is. Um, but location plays a big part of our education and DC is a big part of that. As I said, we're a traditional college campus. This is a shot from our quad. Everything's kind of centrally located around this shot here. This is the center of the quad, the building at the very end. There is our library kind of behind on the other direction is our K Spiritual Life Center and all the rest of the academic buildings are around this quad area. So truthfully, in between academic buildings at American, it's maybe a five minute walk max. Um, everything's centrally located in a 90 acre campus, including the dormitories. Your probably longest walk on campus at American University is about 15 minutes. And part of that 15 minute walk is waiting to cross the street on Massachusetts Avenue. So it's a really walkable, beautiful green campus in a private safe neighborhood, which is right at the end of Embassy Row, which is really unique and also across the street from the Department of Homeland Security. Um, the university, as I said, is kind of a a perfect size university. We're considered a medium sized university. We have about 8,500 students. Um, we also have about 5,800 graduate and law students, but we have a law school about a mile away and the graduate students are often doing evening cohorts, off campus stuff. So you're not really feeling that population. So that leaves you with that 8,500 undergraduate number. But being a private university, we like to keep our classroom sizes small. Our average class size is 23. Student to faculty ratio is 11 to one. In fact, only 2% of the classes at American University hold more than 50 students in them. So we are not a university where you're gonna have large lecture halls with hundreds of people. We're a really diverse community with 32% students of color, where students come from all 50 states in the US and over 120 international countries. It would really be hard to not know the, to notice the diversity on campus. We have 12 residence halls. 
Housing is guaranteed for the first two years, but we have plenty of housing if you wanted to live on campus all four years. And even junior year, if you're looking to move off campus, we partnered with apartment centers and apartment buildings within a mile walk to campus that are over 50% AU occupied. So you have some options and apartments that AU can help you with as well. We have 16 different eateries on campus, everything from a sushi place to a make your own pizza place to a chicken and biscuits place to a traditional cafeteria style, buffet style, terrace dining room as we call it, or TDR. Um, but we have something for everybody and certainly plenty of coffee. We have about four coffee shops on campus uh, and they all compete to see what makes the best one. Um, one thing that's unique about AU is the amount of living and learning communities we have. About two thirds of our incoming class every year participates in a living and learning community by choice. There's a list of some of them here. Many of them are application based programs. So if you're looking at American as a place to apply to, might wanna look into some of our specialty programs as well. We're a traditional college I mentioned. So we have everything from D1 sports for you to go watch or maybe even play if you're an athlete. We also have club and intramural sports if maybe you're not at the varsity level in division one. 26% of students at AU participate in sororities and fraternities um, and Greek life organizations. And then we have over 150 student clubs and organizations. So there's something for everybody at AU, but really the highlight is utilizing the rest of the city. We're a university where 90% of our students complete at least one internship at American University, excuse me, 91%. And a follow-up statistic to that is 88% actually complete two or more internships. So we're lucky that Washington DC is honestly internship rich in all fields. And we really help our students find opportunities to complete internships during their four years. Another thing AU does is AU students really have a global mindset when they come into the university and they are really interested in our study abroad opportunities. We have over 150 programs in over 50 countries and 70% of AU students choose to study abroad even though it's not required in any of our majors. Uh, we have six main colleges and schools, lots of different majors. I think we have about 72 right now. Some of our more popular ones are international studies, political science, business, journalism, film, psychology, public health, many of those are very highly ranked in their respective fields. But we're a college where you don't actually have to know what you want to study day one. Uh, undecided is okay. You don't actually have to officially declare your major until the end of your sophomore year. This is our middle 50% wise. Um, that's where a majority of our applicants fall. We're a school that's been test optional since 2011. So at AU, um, it's okay to apply without standardized test scores. Even as we move forward into a more normal year away from the pandemic, there might be issues still with testing sites. And so if that is the case for you as a rising senior, just know that we're a college will accept your application without needing to stand, see standardized test scores. And as well as financial aid at AU, we kind of have two processes, need-based aid and merit aid. An American, every single student is automatically considered for merit scholarships and about the top 45% of our class will receive one. We ask families to complete both the FAFSA and the CSS profile. And in doing so, our promise to you is if we admit you, we're going to meet 100% of your demonstrated financial need. So while we are expensive private college, which we are, um, we are also one of those colleges that gives you the max amount of money we can to help make your dream of coming to AU a possibility. So hopefully you like what you learned about American University. If you wanna contact me, as I said, I'm regionally based in Southern California, so I'm on the Pacific time zone. That's my email. That's my phone number. I'd love to chat more. Thanks for attending. Have a great night. Wonderful. Thank you so much. And moving right along, we are now going to hear from Boise State University. And just a reminder to those joining, please make sure to submit those questions. Hello, everyone. My name is Kat Everard, and I work at Boise State University. I'm a senior regional admissions counselor, and I am actually based in Long Beach, California. I work with students coming from California, Nevada, and Hawaii. Um, a little bit about Boise State. We are the largest public research institution in the state of Idaho with about 26,000 students and 17,000 undergrads. Despite being a large school, we have about 31 students per class and a student faculty ratio of about 17 to one. Academically, we have over 200 majors and minors for you to choose from. We're known for material science engineering, holding one of the biggest tech companies in our area called Micron Technology, who is one of the leaders in memory and information technology. 
about 95% of our computer science, science grads have jobs before graduation. We have a regionally ranked education program, and we recently became one of the top 50 schools for innovation. A couple years ago, a Harvard business professor started our College of Innovation and Design at Boise State with our signature program being our gaming, interactive media, and mobile technology degree. At Boise State, the programs you see here on screen tend to be our most popular majors that freshmen declared on their application. Uh, you'll see that our number two most popular major was undeclared. So we are fully equipped with resources and faculty to help you explore your major and build towards your future career. Boise State is not impacted. You can graduate in four years. We have a finish in four program. Uh, that's a guarantee that says as long as you do your part in the classroom, yes, you got to show up and pass your classes, but we'll make sure our classes are available to you. And if you go more than four years, Boise State will pick up the tab and pay for any additional credits beyond four years. One of our more unique programs at Boise State is our 3D program, where you get the chance to customize your degree and combine three different academic disciplines. We also have an incredible honors college program that houses our community based off of the Harry Potter house model. So maybe you wanna join our traditional fraternity and sorority system. Maybe you'll wanna be a part of our honors college houses. In 2018, we added a $40 million honors college facility um, and new freshman resident hall that you see here with full-size beds and memory foam mattresses. Another big update to campus is that we built a brand new visual and performing arts center and a material science engineering building. And of course, I cannot forget, we are also known for our famous blue Smurf turf football field you see here on screen. Fun fact of the day, Boise State actually owns the copyright or patent to any non-green playing field. So any college, even a high school, has to get permission from Boise State Athletics if they want to dye their field a color that is not green. Now, why students are choosing Boise State, I think, has everything to do with our amazing capital city, outdoorsy location, and the people. Now, I know what you're thinking, Boise State, Boise, Idaho. We're not located on a potato farm in the state of Idaho. However, we are known for our famous fry sauce. So if you're interested, you can ask me about that later. But Boise, Idaho has been named one of the fastest growing cities in the country. 2018, we were voted number one, yet you still have about 600,000 people in the community that uh, metro feel, warm, welcoming, small town college feel, which our students love. Our uh, students call Boise, Idaho for a reason. This is a picture of our campus and the downtown area in the winter. We see Idaho gets about 18 inches of snow per year. We're a gold star bike friendly campus. Students love that we're about 10 minutes away from the closest airport. You can see everything is walking and biking distance to downtown, food, entertainment, and their internships. Also, there are no couch potatoes here. I mentioned we've been uh, named one of the most active cities in the West. So you get all the outdoor activities and gorgeous seasons. Um, we also have about 150 miles of hiking and biking trails, less than 45 minutes away from the closest ski resort, which students take advantage of. It's about $150 for a ski lift pass per season. Um, we have a big outdoors program. Students can rent outdoor equipment like kayaks, camping gear, tents, paddle boards. You can even take kinesiology activity courses, which allows students to take cool classes like backpacking, snowboarding, military fitness class, and you can get college level credit for it. As a Boise State alum myself, two of my favorite traditions on our campus is our first week float, where hundreds of college kids are floating this lazy river right next to campus, and our short stack shindig, where our alumni feed our students blue and orange pancakes on the first day of school. Now, let's talk admission. Letters of rec and essays are not required for our application unless you plan to apply to our honors college program for fall of 2022, Boise State uh, intends to be test blind, remain to be test blind um, for admission. So we'll only be looking at your total unweighted GPA. If you have a 3.0 and above, you are guaranteed admission at Boise State. For non-resident students, we have two different types of merit aid scholarships available. Our treasure scholarship starts at a 3.0, goes up to a 3.3, and is valued at around $8,400 per year. We also have the infamous WUI scholarship or the Western Undergraduate Exchange. Um, here it starts at a 3.4 and is valued right under $13,000 per year. We do update our scholarship criteria every summer, so keep working hard. Um, check in with us in August and we'll let you know what our new criteria will be. 
All majors are eligible with the exception of radiology and these scholarships are guaranteed as long as you meet the minimum criteria and scholarship deadline, which for us, our WUBI scholarship deadline is December 15th of senior year. Thank you guys so much for listening. Here is my contact info. I'd love to connect with you. I do one-on-one -on -one virtual appointments with students every single day. Um, feel free to screenshot this and I'll add my contact info in the chat. Thanks for listening, everyone. And always remember the grass is always bluer at Boise State. Thanks everyone and go Broncos. Fantastic. Thank you so much to Boise State University. And again, just as a reminder, um, please have uh, those questions sent in so that our um, university reps can help you out there. We are now going to hear from the George Washington University. Good evening. Thank you so much from be, for being here. I'm having a little trouble getting my slideshow start. There we go. Um, thanks, thanks for being here. I'm Lee Stork. I'm a regional director of, of admission uh, for the George Washington University. And um, I handle uh, students that are from Southern California in the Southwest. I'm actually located in Albuquerque, New Mexico. Um, and we have another uh, regional rep for Northern California. Her name is um, Andrea Frangi, so you can uh, find her information and I can give it to you as well if you're from Northern California. Um, <clears throat> I am so proud to represent the George Washington University. Um, we are this year celebrating our 200th anniversary. We were actually um, an idea of some of the founding fathers who thought there should be a national university where people leave their estates back when we were founded, there were only, I believe, still 13, um, and uh, come and get a national perspective to train leaders for our country. They even thought way back then it would be great in between classes to go down and witness how government works. And that's a lot of what happens at GW because we are located in the heart of Washington, DC, um, about three blocks from the White House in one area, our School of International Affairs is across the street from the State Department and down the street from the World Bank and the International Monetary Fund. Um, our students take advantage of uh, being right in the heart of Washington, DC. By the way, we have two campuses. Our main campus is uh, called Foggy Bottom. The Metro comes right to our campus. It houses not only um, most of our undergraduate housing and most of our classroom space, but also our professional schools in medicine and law are right on the same campus. Um, everyone has known for years that, uh, for generations really, that GW has been known to train future political scientists, diplomats, journalists, doctors, and lawyers. But I want you to know that we also now have over 75 majors in seven different schools and colleges where you can also be a division one athlete, you can be an artist, you can study archaeology or anthropology, you can learn uh, to um, speak Arabic and do Arabic studies, you can become an accountant, you can become an architect, you can become an aerospace engineer or study artificial intelligence. And I'm not even through the A's, right? Um, but just to give you a sampling of all the variety of things you can do now at GW. Um, we've continued to expand our offerings and become a much more inclusive university. Even from the beginning in our original charter, um, we were going to be open to students, um, faculty and staff of all religions, which was a very unique aspect 200 years ago. Um, this uh, photograph is taken in our phenomenal science and engineering hall. $300 million investment GW made just about five years ago in the future of STEM on our campus. When you apply to GW, you apply directly to the school or college that you're most interested in, but our students love to combine things in different schools and colleges. Um, so many will often take a major in one college and a minor in another. Some will even double major across schools. Um, incredible opportunities to become a professional by taking advantage of all the 
first rate internships um, that we offer, the networking we have with all of our alums. We have about 90,000 alumni in the greater DC area and um, they interact with the students on our campus and uh, really help them get their professional networking. Um, one of the, we have an incredibly active student body. So um, students, um, we have a lot of students of an activist orientation. They don't all share the same politics to be sure. Uh, over 500 student organizations. GW students are always creating new organizations based on what's going on in the world. Um, for example, we have what uh, I've heard is the largest college Democrats group um, in the country. Well, we also have a really strong and powerful group of young Republicans on our view is from Southern California and I recruited him. So I'm really proud of that. Um, we have Division I athletics. We're in the Atlantic 10 conference. Um, but for students who want to do club or intramural sports or just have a place to work out, we've got that on campus as well. Um, we are so close to the National Mall that that's the playground for our students. In fact, you might see our basketball players um, doing their workouts on the National Mall sometimes. One of the great um, opportunities that we provide is incredible guests that come to campus, incredible professors that are working in their fields that teach on campus. Um, and you never know who you're going to run into at the Starbucks um, at GW. Um, I love, I also represent GW in Arizona and love to tell the story of how many of our students met the late uh, John McCain um, in the GW, at GW moments because you're going to stumble across people that are making a big difference in the world every day in Foggy Bottom. Um, when it comes to admission, we've also been test optional for a long time, since 2015. You apply to GW on the Common App. We have early decision, but no early action. Our final deadline is January 5th. Um, I'm going to be putting some links in the chat that you can follow to get more information about GW. Um, I'll be happy to answer any questions you put in the Q&A. One of the things we love to say at GW is we're changing the world one life at a time. And if you believe your education is going to help you make a big difference in the world, I really encourage you to consider coming to Washington, D.C., living in one of the most vibrant international cities, and being a student at the George Washington University. Thank you so much. I look forward to talking to you in the next year. Wonderful. Thank you so much to the George Washington University for, for their time and information. And again, just another reminder about sending in those questions. If you have any questions that you want to have answered, this is a great time to do that. We're halfway through our presentations and moving right along. We are now going to hear from the University of Tennessee, Knoxville. Awesome. Thank you so much. Hello, everyone. My name is Ashley Anderson, and I am the Northern California Regional Admission Recruiter for the University of Tennessee. I am originally from East Tennessee, from a small town right near Knoxville, um, and so I just love sharing uh, about UT with students from the West Coast. So let's go ahead and get started. Um, one of my favorite things about the University of Tennessee is our incredible location. We are located in an urban area. We're definitely considered an urban campus in the city of Knoxville, which is the third largest city in the state of Tennessee. So it's a vibrant city with a lot going on. Our students are actually within walking distance of downtown Knoxville, which is absolutely awesome. And that translates into a lot of great entertainment options for our students, but of course, a lot of job opportunities and internship opportunities as well. So our students love being so connected to the city of Knoxville, but at the same time, our location is great because we are just a short distance from the most visited national park in the entire country. And yes, you heard that right. You'll have to look it up. Um, we are right by the Great Smoky Mountains National Park, and so if you are a type of student that really enjoys the great outdoors, let's say you like skiing, whitewater rafting, hiking, camping, mountain biking, any of that stuff, you would fit right in in East Tennessee. 
And also you can see here, it's just absolutely gorgeous. East Tennessee is really breathtaking. Um, we do have an airport located right in Knoxville, which makes it very convenient to get in and out of town. There aren't any direct flights from California, but usually it's just one quick layover. And next thing you know, you're in Knoxville. Once you do get to the airport, our campus is only about a 12 minute drive. So not bad at all. Uh, moving on. So here are some of those quick facts about our university. So you will see that we are a large institution. We have about 29,000 students total at the University of Tennessee. So if you are looking for that large school environment where you've got a lot of opportunities available to you in terms of clubs and organizations, for example, example you'll see that we have over 600 clubs and organizations at UT. So that's one of the benefits of attending a large school. Um, also, if you are looking for a school with a lot of academic programs, we have just about everything under the sun. In fact, we have over 360 different majors at the University of Tennessee, which is pretty incredible. And then another thing that we are known for at the University of Tennessee, and I might just hide myself really quickly. I like doing that. Um, to highlight our football stadium, this is Neyland Stadium. It is actually one of the largest football stadiums. Wow, I don't know what's going on there. Um, one of the largest football stadiums in the nation. I think it's the fifth largest football stadium. Um, and so if you are a student that you're really looking for that school spirit element, look no further. You will find that at the University of Tennessee. And I can't tell you how much fun it is to be in Neyland Stadium on game day where everybody's decked out in their orange and white, which is obviously our colors. Um, everybody's there cheering on the Vols. And if you don't know, Vol is short for volunteer. We are the University of Tennessee Volunteers. Everybody's singing Rocky Top together, which is our unofficial fight song. And there's really just nothing like it. So if you're looking for a school with strong academics, but then also a lot of school spirit, you're going to find that at the University of Tennessee. Um, and then I think I mentioned that our athletic programs, they are division one football and basketball are our biggest draws, but we do well across the board in many different sports. Okay, so now to talk about academics, like I mentioned, we do have just about everything with a few exceptions at the University of Tennessee. Um, the list is so extensive, so obviously I don't have time to go through it all, but here I've listed just a handful of some of the majors that we see a big draw for, for our out-of-state students. So we do have animal science at the undergraduate level, which can be hard to find. We do have a vet school located on our campus. We also have a great architecture program. We are very well known for our business programs and our supply chain management program is consistently ranked in the top 10. Um, if you're looking for engineering, definitely consider the University of Tennessee. Um, our programs are a lot more accessible than some other engineering programs that you might find. Um, you do have to be a good student to get in, but it's not as competitive as some other schools that you might find, especially out here in California. And we have just about every type of engineering that you could um, be interested in, including some hard to find ones like aerospace engineering and nuclear engineering. We also have the number one material science um, program in the entire country. We also have great research opportunities at the Oak Ridge National Laboratory for our engineering students as well. Um, you'll see here that we have forensic anthropology at the undergraduate level. And fun fact, we have a body farm on our campus, which is pretty cool. Um, we have a direct entry nursing program, pre-law, and the list just goes on and on. So guys, I will leave you with that. Um, if you're interested in the University of Tennessee, please reach out to me because we haven't yet finalized what our application process is gonna look like next year, whether or not we're gonna continue with test optional or not. And also we're waiting to finalize our scholarships, which will probably happen in the summer. But please reach out to me and we can start that conversation. And then as soon as I have that, have more information for you about the application process, I can give that to you as soon as it's available. So thank you so much and go Vols. Thank you so much to the University of Tennessee for that information and for their time. Uh, we have just a couple more presentations to go. So once again, uh, please send in those questions. We are now going to hear from Miami University. 
Awesome, thank you so much. Hello everyone, my name is Larissa Marple and I am with Miami University located in Oxford, Ohio. We are not the University of Miami in Florida and fun fact, Miami University in Ohio was actually founded before Florida even existed as a state. So there's a fun fact you can tell your friends, but we are considered an original public Ivy institution, which essentially just means that we are a school that will provide a Ivy League level education before the cost of a public institution. At our school, we have about 17,000 undergraduate students with an average class size of about 30. We like to say that we have the brains of a big university, the resources of a large university, but really the heart of a small school because that class size is so small. We offer over 120 areas of study, 18 Division I varsity sports teams, and over 600 student organizations on campus. Our student body is highly involved. I don't know that I've ever met a student that is involved in less than two organizations outside of their classes by the end of their freshman year. Additionally, about 63% of our students graduate with a minor or a second major. So even though we're a public institution, we are liberal arts based. It is very easy to double major, still graduate in four years, study different areas, et cetera. So if that's an, um, something you're interested in, definitely an option here. Additionally, we have 30 combined degree programs. So if you are looking at potentially getting your undergraduate degree and your master's degree at the same time in four or five years, we have 30 different options for you. Furthermore, our professors are ranked top five in the country for undergraduate teaching. That means that they actually teach all of their classes. It's an incredibly hands-on learning environment. They're going to know your name. You are going to know them. Some of them even give out their cell phone numbers for students to contact them. So that relationship is really strong and definitely is what provides some of that Ivy League feel. We also have over 2,000 students a year working on undergraduate funded research. So if you're interested in research programs, you get to partner with faculty members as an undergrad because we do have a smaller graduate population to go ahead and get that experience early. This is a picture of our beautiful campus. The poet Robert Frost visited and stated it's the most beautiful campus that ever there was, which we of course are biased, but we do agree with. We have the beautiful large red brick buildings, the gorgeous green quads, and the town of Oxford itself is consistently ranked as one of the top college towns in America. It is a wonderful place to live for four years. This is a picture of our uptown area that is just adjacent to campus. Everything is walking distance. Students live on campus their first and second year at Miami University. We have 47 different residence halls, but then typically junior and senior year, and beyond, students will live off campus, but off campus is just across the street. There are some students that truly look out their front window and are looking directly on to campus. So like I mentioned, everything is easily accessible, walking distance, and it's just a really fun town to live in during your college career. Our school itself is divided into six different academic divisions. For um, three of these divisions, if you're accepted into Miami University, you're automatically accepted into your major. So that is for arts and sciences, education, health and society, and engineering and computing. Yes, engineering, there are no additional requirements for acceptance and we are ranked top 10 in the country for undergraduate engineering programs. So an awesome way to get that degree. For the College of Creative Arts, there is typically an audition or portfolio that is required. And then for the Farmer School of Business and Nursing, they are direct entry and, and not necessarily every student is accepted due to the competitive nature. So there are some wonderful programs. For nursing, it's direct entry only for the Farmer School of Business. There are ways to transfer into that school once you are a current student at Miami. So um, there are lots more details about this information on our website. So make sure to check that out if you are interested. And of course, I'm always happy to answer questions about specific majors as well. You can also come in undecided. You'll still graduate on time. We tell students as long as they are um, committed to a major by the end of their sophomore year, they'll still get out in four years. These were our deadline dates for last year. I was just told a couple of hours before this presentation, these will be changing slightly. But what's important to know is we have early decision, which is a binding application deadline, early action, which is our priority deadline for scholarship and honors, but is not binding, and then a regular decision deadline as well. 
I always recommend to students to apply by one of our early action deadlines at the latest because you do receive priority for that merit scholarship. At Miami, if you have a 3.5 weighted GPA or higher, you are typically guaranteed some form of merit scholarship. This is a quick glance at our accepted student profile. We will be test optional for fall 2022, so you can take the ACT and SAT here with a little bit of a grain of salt because the data is a couple years old, but our middle 50% GPA weighted is about a 3.6 to a 4.1. The important thing here that I like to point out is that only about 43% of our students are actually from the state of Ohio. So even though we are a public state institution, a majority of our students are coming out of state or internationally. And then we have a four year tuition promise guarantee, which just means that for all four years you're at Miami, the cost will stay the same. We do not raise prices on students while they are enrolled in their undergraduate career. And then lastly, these are just some quick statistics about success of Miami graduates. We have above average medical and law school acceptance rates, as long as a 96% success rate amongst graduates um, that are either employed or furthering their education within six months of graduating. So I hope you learned a little bit. I will share my contact information in the chat, and I hope everyone has a great rest of your evening. Fantastic. Thank you so much to Miami University. And last but certainly not least, we are going to hear from the University of Louisville. Thank you so much, James. Hello, everyone. I am V with the University of Louisville. Um, before I get started, I want to share with you a quick little video. Uh, but uh, stay tuned for one second. Hang on. Let's see. All right. You walk in here and you don't know where you fit, but there are people from everywhere and everyone's looking for friends, for fun, for their future. Jock, geek, troublemaker, nerd, blah, blah, blah. Forget your high school labels. Here, you'll live in a diverse world of individuals. The University of Louisville's body is representative of the state, the country, the entire giant planet. Starting now, you get to define you. No, no, you've got the R all wrong. With more than 200 majors available, we definitely have your major. Before you graduate, you'll go to more than 1,200 classes. And you'll traverse a park-like campus cultivated with more than 220 years of history. There's also lots of opportunities for internships, co-ops, study abroad, and research programs to layer your education. UofL is about much more than academics. Explore the things you love. Join a club, volunteer in the community, get active in student government, start a study group for one of your classes. The residence halls are a great place to bond with new friends. Almost everyone loves their first roommate. Almost. But don't roost in your room too long. We've got state-of-the-art workout facilities, a variety of intramural sports, and other clubs that make it easy to stay active. Stop, that R is still not quite right. Back up. Rubbing the toe of the thinker during finals week will bring you good luck on your exams. On the other hand, don't step on the cardinal bird. It's bad luck. Very bad luck. You're leaving the nest to explore new boundaries. Don't be confined to the boundaries campus. Louisville is a vibrant city full of culture, music, parks, sports, and great food. So get ready to settle in and learn to throw what you know, because by the time that you leave the University of Louisville, you'll be right here. When you become an insider here, you're ready to make an impact out there. All right, hope you enjoy that. I'm V Ali Dema for the University of Louisville. I am based in Los Angeles, California and work with students from all Western US. And so some reasons why students choose the University of Louisville is because we are a great value. We are medium-sized Carnegie Research University that's accessible, affordable with automatic scholarships, internship opportunities at Fortune 500 companies, not only in Louisville, but also around the country and the globe. 
engineering costs, which pay an average of $34,000 before students even graduate. Um, and fun fact about our engineering programs, we are one of only seven in the nation that require a co-op uh, for engineering. And we're also lucky to have our own dentistry and law school with direct entry, as well as our medical school and university hospital system. We were very well prepared to handle a big crisis like COVID-19 because we are one of only 13 universities in the US to have a CDC lab where we conduct pandemic research. This medical expertise then allowed us to safely invite students back to campus, not only for in-person visits, but also in-person classes. We are located in the suburb of Louisville, just about 10 minutes away from downtown, walking distance from a famous Churchill Downs, and be sure to check out the Kentucky Derby happening this weekend. Um, and the UofL has been named the most beautiful uh, campus in Kentucky. We are residential with ample housing options and tree-line campus, which is very compact and walkable. And to end, it'll take you about 15 minutes total to walk. Um, this is where the Cardinals eat, and you'll notice how close and compact everything is by the residence halls. Um, and very close to Starbucks and restaurants to support your learning. Um, these are some of our unique majors. We are an excellent school for pre-professional studies, students that want to go to medical school, dentistry school, uh, law, et cetera. Um, this would be a great option for you. We have so many opportunities to get a diverse set of observation, volunteer clinical experiences that uh, graduate and doctoral programs require. To the left, you'll notice what most students uh, usually come in to study at the University of Louisville. I'll have to add that students from California specifically are mostly coming for engineering, business, nursing, and our number uh, three sports administration program in the nation. So uh, those are some of the um, options. And if you want to kind of visualize what programs uh, are like at our uh, university, you can search our catalog and you can kind of see exactly what each program entails. If you're not sure what you want to study, there's something for everyone, but 216 majors, you can also come in as undecided. And we do have all the resources available to help you graduate in four years. And speaking of applying, you can apply either test optional or traditionally uh, up to fall 2022. Um, if you are beyond that, if you're looking beyond that, we will be in touch with you to let you know. Uh, but the important takeaway is that if you are going to apply to any of our flagship programs, such as uh, our STEM engineering, business and nursing, you'll still have a pathway for direct entry, even as a test optional student. So what you need to apply is either Common App or our own Take Flight app. So your application, high school transcript, test scores if you have them. If you don't, uh, a student involvement resume is fine for scholarship consideration and $25 application fee. And you can certainly uh, visit. We do have virtual and in-person visits available with necessary precautions in place. Um, we also have Instagram lives, um, takeover lives, all kinds of different options for you to get a feel for what it's like to be at the University of Louisville. This is my contact information. Thanks so much for your attention and go cards. Wonderful. Thank you so much um, for that information from the University of Louisville and really to all of our institutions for the information. Um, at this point, we are about ready to just kind of get wrapped up with this session. So I just wanted to give a couple of housekeeping reminders um, as we are finishing up. So students, as you are exiting this webinar, you will have access to a brief survey just to let us know how your experience went. Um, this is really valuable as you um, for you to answer this as we try to continue planning these virtual offerings. Um, there are, like I mentioned at the beginning, there are no more sessions that you can sign up for. However, you can access all of the recordings that have taken place today. We'll have those available within about a week on strivescan.com slash rack. R-A-C-C, and you'll be able to access those. So that way, if you want to rewatch this one or any of our other ones. So um, thank you so much to our six wonderful institutions for joining and just for the information that they provided. And for you know, those of you that are joining as students, parents, counselors, advocates, we really appreciate you taking the time. And we hope that you found this information helpful as you are navigating the college search process. So I hope that everybody has a safe and wonderful evening. Thank you and good night. Mm-hmm.